my name is Rodrigo Guerrero. I am a physician from Cali, Colombia, and then had the opportunity to study epidemiology at the University of Harvard in Boston. In two opportunities, I have run for mayor, been elected 20 years ago and now. Basically, what I have done is to apply those basic principles that we epidemiologists use to confront a disease of unknown nature, which you have a very carefully detailed strategy. I have applied it to the study of violence, which is a major concern in Cali, in Colombia. When I was first elected in 1992, the most important problem in Cali was violence. Homicides were the first cause of death for the general population, which is something difficult to believe. 126 was horrible. It was frightening. That's why I decided to work in violent prevention. I knew that was a major epidemic there. And a strategy that starts by defining the problem, then looking at the places of occurrence, times, where, who, when, then finding what factors are associated with, with that definition that you have, plan interventions, evaluate results, and repeat the cycle. For example, 90% were killed by firearms. In weekends, alcohol was involved, and indeed, more than half of them victims of homicide were intoxicated. So with that picture, we decided that the firearms and alcohol were risk factors for homicidal violence in Cali. When I first proposed the restriction of alcohol, by the very first weekend, University Hospital reporting the reduction in the number of injuries and the number of homicides. So, so we have formalized the idea of developing these observatories of crime. Cisalba. At that time, the goal to establish an institute with the aim to collect information, mainly related to violence and homicides, and also to carry out research concerning social issues, and in particular, violence and homicides. And with those criteria, ever since, Cali has a very accurate record of, of violence. Mayors, we tend to be very receptive. And when you give them an instrument, say, look, all you have to do is look for the data study systematically, make a decision from that. That's a very simple thing to understand. And if you see results rapidly, then the, the cycle is reinforced. In Colombia, was 15% of the gross national product was lost because of violence. Then at that moment, people got interested. The banks decided, okay, this is a world uh, problem that we should study, finance, and, to, and curb. So that was a turning point in, in this lifelong experience to convert people to, to prevent violence. And we have isolated or pinpointed neighborhoods that have deficiencies in education. They need more schooling, health centers, paved streets, a illumination of, of parks, lack of recreational areas, and you name it, all this social investment. And we are putting substantial amount of the city uh, budget to those 27 neighborhoods that we have isolated. I'm sure this will help in, re in reducing violence. It's one of the most uh, ambitious programs of this administration from day one. Mayor Guerrero told us that he didn't want this program to be done by a desk, and he told us you have to go out there, talk to them, and work with them to identify what is most uh, in need in these communities, and you'll have all our support to solve the problems. Yesterday, we had one killing. 
last year the average killing was six per day, but still unacceptably high. Measuring is the key of the scientific method, so I am all for indicators, education, coverage, quality, uh, results. Uh, this is, is a, a very, very useful administrative tool. The figure is Galileo that said, measure anything you can, and wherever you cannot make it measurable.